Donald Trump has been roundly castigated for suggesting that there could be widespread voter fraud in our upcoming presidential election. Well, to be fair, Donald Trump has been roundly castigated for lots of things. Are you kidding me? For now, though, let's just concentrate on the one about voter fraud. Immediately following his assertion, there was a cacophony of comment both for and against his position. Republican secretaries of state in both Texas and Nevada publicly warned that it could happen in their states. Well, that triggered a landslide of rebuke from Democrat boards of canvassers, especially in Chicago, who countercharged oh, that it, it could never happen. And they did so with a straight face. Hillary Clinton sanctimoniously intoned that the importance of having American voters be absolutely confident in the outcome of next week's vote, especially if, as planned, she was declared the victor. Almost drowned out in this chorus of correctness was the voice of Paul Edward Parker, investigative journalist for the Providence Journal. He analyzed the Rhode Island voter rolls as certified by Secretary of State Gorbea. They showed 781,770 registered voters here in the Ocean State. Parker then had the gall to check in with the U.S. Census Bureau, which only records 592,672 U.S. citizens of voting age who call Rhode Island home. Mm, that leaves a few more than 189,000 mystery voters on the roadie rolls. On a personal note, that may explain why my dear mother, a reliable vote for the Republicans while she was alive, has only voted for Democrats since passing on. From a national perspective, though, Mr. Trump may have something there. He thinks he needs to score a landslide victory at the polls just to eke out a two-point win in the popular vote. Are you kidding me?